Hi, I'm Vince Lake. Today we're going to be installing the Sub-Zero double sliding island containment door. This is the premium data center door for both hot and cold aisle containment. So let's get started. What you see I've got laid out is the frame component of this door assembly. The right panel, the left panel, and then the header out in front. What we've done is we've laid these out. Uh, they ship in three separate pieces. And what we're gonna do now is assemble them, tilt them up against the door, and get them secured to the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, attach the header to our frame support panels. I got my, uh, Michael's helping me here. We're gonna put the bolts in. It's pre-drilled, pre-lined up. Simply just ratchet them in. All right, so we've got our eight header bolts in place. Everything's tight, everything's secure. So at this point, we're gonna lift the door up, get it into place, and get ready to level and plummet. The door's up. We got it about where we want it. We need to level and plumb it. This is important because if this isn't done properly, when the door gets installed, we're gonna have racking issues. When the door's closed, they don't line up properly. So it's really, really critical to get a nice level plumb door frame. So the door's in place. We've got a level and square. Let's go ahead and attach it to the floor. Michael, you wanna put it in? So we've pinned one half of our door frame. Again, we need to recheck for plumb Make sure we're nice and square, pin down the other side. So we've got, it looks like we're in good shape there. Mike, let's go ahead and uh, nail that down. So now that we've got our door completely secured to the floor, uh, which is important because the floor actually carries the whole weight of this door system. But we do need to fasten the header uh, to the top of the rack. Reason being is we just want to have a secure tight point so that the frame doesn't uh, uh, pull out anytime the door is touched. So while it's not a load carrying, uh, this is for fit and finish. On this particular rack si uh, style, you'll notice that there's uh, holes around the perimeter. It accepts a square nut, so we're able to snap a nut in and then tie the bracket into the header and the rack securely. Uh, Michael, you want to take care of that? So the frame's all in place. It's time to get some doors on that frame. So Michael's got the right hand door. We're gonna go ahead and just set it on the top. There's wheels in behind, drops right into the header track. Michael? Well, as you can see, we've got both of our doors on, but now it's time to adjust them for the proper fit and finish. A Couple of things that we're gonna do. Uh, you can notice both here and here, on, on both sides of the doors, we have some wheels. They're keeper wheels. They're there to make sure that the door stays on the track. The other thing is that we need to do is when we shut our door right now for a rough finish, the wheels on the top can be adjusted so that we have the same even reveal all the way down the door when it's closed tight. And so now we're going to take care of that. Uh, you'll see we've got our keeper wheel on the top. There's also one on the bottom and it's held on with a bracket that has two button head bolts. So we loosen those up with the provided Allen wrench. We're able to back it off. We slide the wheel up into the bottom groove and tighten it back down. This keeps our door firmly in place. So we're gonna repeat that step that we just did, both on the bottom as well as on the top and bottom of the other door. Now we've come to a very critical stage in our door installation. Uh, this adjustment of these upper wheels has to do with the door close reveal, or that point where the doors meet up, uh, if it's uneven, kicked in, or kicked out. So you notice here that once I've loosened my brackets on the, uh, on the door, you see that I can actually get play out of the wheel. What this will allow me to do is go up or down to actually tilt the door uh, to the top or to the bottom to get a nice clean flush reveal so our doors meet up cleanly. So we're at our last step. 
The last thing we need to do is you notice when we go to close it and you try to squeeze it shut, the latch quite isn't making full contact. We gotta get this secure. So what we do is we'll loosen up the ball catch latch And we're gonna slide that over and get it a little bit tighter. And that should have brought us closer to the male side so that when we go to shut it, we get a secure close, our gasket's working, and you've got a tight island door. Well, that's it. I hope you found this information helpful. For more information regarding the installation of the ILN doors, uh, please uh, inquire about our installation manual. And for more general information, visit us on the web at www.subzeroeng.com.